Hey y'all, what's up? It's really Adri and I'm back with another video. So today we are doing a brunch time get ready with me. Y'all really seem to enjoy the last one. And so I'm bringing y'all another one today. I'm kind of filming at a different angle because you know, I'm headed out the door, but I just wanted to come in and introduce you guys, give you guys a nice little intro to today's video. All the information on the hair, the makeup, the outfit, everything will be in the description box below. So make sure you check that if you are interested in anything in this video. But yeah, girl, so I'm gonna show y'all how I got this real nice, sultry, super smooth, skin this kind of beat i kind of gave a beat today i'm so shocked with myself but so if you are interested definitely keep on watching but first if you're new to my channel hey girl hey my name's adri i do fashion hair and lifestyle videos so if you're into that kind of thing i think you will love it here and if you're not new then you're an og and you already know how this goes shout out to my og all right so enough of me talking we're just gonna go ahead and get right into the video so to start off this good little beat, we're gonna start with a little hydration to the face. It is the summertime, baby. Please don't forget the sunscreen. I can't use the black girl, um, the black girl sunscreen, I think this is called. I can't use that one because it's for combination skin and I have really oily skin. So this one is better to me. This is the Neutrogena Sport Face. It doesn't have any oil in it and it also keeps me very much covered from the sun. Uh, y'all know I love my little brow pencil that I just got, so I'm gonna let y'all watch me do my brows or whatever. I don't really know what it is, but it's like this summer I have been really loving a pencil brow. Normally, I gravitate towards my ABH dip brow, but baby, I have been loving a light, kind of fluffy brow look. Um, maybe in the wintertime, I like heavier brows. I don't know. I don't know, girl. I'm just, <laughs> we becoming makeup girls, so we, we just not getting into this. Y'all are literally watching me evolve with my little makeup routines and everything like that. So now let's talk about this here primer, this Smashbox primer. I actually really like this. A lot of people like the Milk Cosmetic um, primer, but girl, lately it's been making my, like, makeup come out patchy and that's not okay with me or my home girls so i do like to pair that one with the fenty i believe it's called soft matte primer so good oh also this this here um girl i can't talk this concealer bomb it dries down really nice but it does come off a little liquidy at first i don't really know if that's a thing we have to ask all the makeup girls so funny thing is, I was actually rushing on this day, but girl, I just cannot rush my brows. I don't know what it is. I could rush the rest of my face, but my brows cannot be rushed. I just, they have to be related, okay? They have to be twins. They have to be sisters who look just alike if you was born within 21 months of each other. That's why I look so focused. <laughs> So here I am just dragging that leftover concealer down onto my lids and then blending it out. If I don't wear any eyeshadow, this is what I do. And this primer right here, your lids are not dropping any pigment. I'm telling you, be careful whenever you apply this because wherever you put this, it's going to dry there. And so yeah, I'm just gonna go in with some browns. Girl, I didn't really know what I was doing. I was just throwing some stuff together throwing some colors on my lids just so I don't look so basic all the time. I don't know, I'm tired of being a basic B. This is my year of upgrading. Like, I just wanna upgrade my entire life. And I am completely dedicated to doing so, so that's why I'm just starting off with the basics of, you know, the better you look, the better you feel, the better you produce. So yeah, after the eyes and the eyebrows are complete, everything after that is a breeze. Um, I have extensions on, so I don't have to worry about putting any lashes on or anything like that. Everything else that I do is basically my routine. I do it every time, nothing ever changes. The only thing that changes is maybe the products. Can y'all tell I really be jamming when I be doing my makeup? Like, girl, I don't know what it is. I can't do my makeup without music. It's just so boring. I need a little jam, I need a little tune. And until we don't have a double chin anymore, we are going to snatch this face with a little double chin contour, period. So 
I think I told y'all this in a couple of my other uh, Get Ready With Me's, but this Sonya Kojak Beauty Blender, baby. If you got $6 laying around to spend on a Beauty Blender, do it. I don't even reach for my Real Technique Blender anymore. Like This one takes the cake by far. It blends out everything so flawlessly. It leaves my skin looking so smooth. It's so fast. Like girl just invest it's six dollars go to target get the link down below all of her face brushes are bomb the only one that i don't use that much is like i think it's the pointed blush brush or something like that it looks like a fluffy dome brush but it's pointy i don't know that one just don't really do it for me but everything else the contour brush the flat foundation brush her powder brushes bomb super bomb so yeah I mean, this is not sponsored or anything, but if you are interested in looking for a new brush set or something like that, sis, go to Target or hit the link down below. So next, let's get into this Glowish Foundation by Huda. Baby, I don't know. Huda just can't do no wrong to me. I'm sorry. I think they were like a problematic company. I'm not really sure, but they get it right. They do it right every time. I don't know what it is. Girl, this foundation is so light. It's so full coverage too. Huda has the range. They have the color range and this foundation right here does not sweat off. Girl, it stays on all day. I don't know, girl. Invest if you can. Now I always go on top of my foundation and my concealer with a lighter concealer, which is by Tarte. This is the Creaseless Concealer and I don't know I don't know how I really feel about it underneath my foundation so I just always put it on top also somebody asked me why do I use two powders girl okay so one is yellow and one is white well my skin isn't really yellow or white so I just mix both of them and it gives me the perfect kind of flawless finish that I'm looking for so plus I've tried the kind of setting powder that's the same color as your skin or stuff like that but it's just always off to me so I don't know girl I just do what I do and that's it <laughs> okay you get what you get you don't throw a fit also I do carve out my cheeks I don't really have like chiseled cheekbones I kind of have like a chipmunk face <laughs> so I do carve out my cheeks to give the illusion that I have a more chiseled cheek kind of look <laughs> So this is the powder brush I was telling y'all about earlier. I don't know. I just use it for bronzer because I don't know what else to use it for. the whole set in your face with a um, mineralized powder so I did just opt for the MAC one but Tamara Renee says she uses the makeup for everyone and it's bomb so I'm definitely gonna check that out so if you haven't already go ahead and leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite makeup products are right now I'm trying to expand my collection like I told y'all we're trying to become makeup girls or whatever so yeah let me know what you use and also let me know who your favorite makeup girls are I'm trying to get on game <laughs> Huda just need to go ahead and sponsor your girl. This pencil that I just got, like I said right there, five. I mean, so five. It lasts so long. It's the only pencil or whatever it is because it's retractable. It's been the only lip liner that stays on underneath my gloss. It stays on 
over my gloss. If my gloss comes off, my liner is still on. I promise you, it wears for at least three hours or two lipstick changes. You will have a line of just chocolate on your lips <laughs> with no lip gloss or lipstick, but the liner will still be there. And if you watched my last Get Ready With Me, y'all know that I have been living for these Maybelline lip glosses. They're so pigmented. The only thing is they don't have very much shine to them, like a high shine. But the pigment is amazing, as you can see. And then I just go on top of it with my Fenty Gloss, and it's the perfect lip combo ever. So I don't really know if all the makeup girls are on for this trick yet or not, but my homegirl Sade taught me that if you have a thicker gloss that shines a little more, to so just put it on the very edge of your lips because it gives the illusion that your whole lip is shiny, but it's just your edges. All right, y'all, so here is the finished look. This is the final outfit. This is my Teddy Blake bag. I carry this everywhere. I just thought it was very fitting. It's really upsetting me and my homegirls that my top and my bottom, like my underwear are not matching, but these are shorts. So, you know, that doesn't bother me too, too much, but it's still upsetting. Um, and this is the back. Okay. Her. All right, so one last final look. This dress is from Pretty Little Thing. Okay, the heels are from Ego. Teddy Blake bag. Catch the drip. Catch the ice I have on my JBW watch. And yeah, girl, these earrings are from Purpose and One, I believe. And so this is our final look. What do you think? I tore my room up in the background, y'all. <laughs> All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Get Ready With Me. I'm about to go ahead and head out and go to brunch, have fun with the girls. Oh, my scent. So my scent for today's brunch is going to be C by Giorgio Armani. Ooh, y'all already know. She gives the girls brunch, so we're going with her. But yeah, I love y'all so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch y'all in my next one.